Yo, what's up? Today I'm gonna show you how to paint Warhammer. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to paint this Warhammer 40k battle skin. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna use some piece of crap. Well, crap, but a blank gray piece out of this. It's pretty cool. I painted this myself. That's how cool I am. Not in the world, but I'm gonna tell you what paint you need. Well, it costs 15.50. It's pretty big. It's about three times big. Well, you need five different paints. You'll need Adaptus, Adaptus Battle Grey. You'll need that one. You'll need that one. Yeah, you'll need Marcius Solar Orange. You can't see it very well. Just trying to get the paint away. Yeah, Marcius Solar Orange. Orange. You'll also need, no, oh yeah, you need Graveyard Earth, you need, you can also build paints, you'll need Clathan Brown, even though it's in the packet, do get it. You'll also need Char, um, Garden Gra Charnite Granite, you'll need this one, Fortress Grey, and you'll need Chainmail silver. Chainmail silver. You also need undercoat black. You also need um Garnet green. These are all the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten paints you will need to paint this. Well. First, what you gotta do is, you see the whole base plate? Right, this, you gotta paint it. First, you gotta paint it. The spray, so you need, um, Chaos Black spray paint, so you spray paint it all. This paint's all black, blah, blah, blah. Then, or you could use this color. I'm gonna go black, but I always use it for my Chaos Space Marines, which I'll show you later. Um, but first, you need to paint this. First, you get this orange. The orange paint and you gotta brush it. What you do, you keep brushing really hard. You brush, brush, brush until you get, then you brush really fast until all the excess paint comes off. Then you got brush really strong until all, nearly all is gone. Then you have a little, uh, all the excess gone and you start painting. Until it's all orange. Then what you add is a bit of cloth and brown, which will, you know, if you can see it, you can just overcoat it. Then, what you do is then you overcoat it again with orange, but e but add a bit of the mix. If you have a mixing palette, add cloth and brown, then do that, and then you give it some make darker. Then you add a really, really thin coat of that, so you still see the orange is a bit reddish, but you know. Then, what you'll do, then you'll need. Oh, you see, is this the right paint? What one's that for? The ground, yeah. You need this one, um, Charnite Granite, for the round the bullet marks. So you have see here, little bullet marks. Just paint that round, but well, really lightly. Same, push it really hard, get all the excess paint off. Then when you've done that, you add a Fortress Grey, which you just add a little, little splash on, a little splash, splash, splash. Then we go on to the ground, which is just um, the ground is just graveyard earth. Also, might need to do it on, on the tank as well. It's too bright. You cut all of the sand pieces up so you have it like all sand. Don't add the real sand that you get. Or the uh, sand you get. Don't add that because it makes it. Don't add that because kind of ruins it. And then, what you do for the craters, you add Adaptus Battle Grey. This one. And you just paint them. But then, you don't paint the middle yet. You just paint everything. All that. The rocks. Right? Right, and then you have that. Then you add corn, char and granite, and you put the middle of it. And the middle of it there, same. Then when you've done that, you're on the trees. Then you need to get the fortress grey. Just paint them over really lightly so you can still see the black markings. Look at this one. The black lines on it. It's pretty good. When you've done that, then you need, we'll do it again for the skulls, the dead body there. And other little branches have fallen off. When, then, when you've done that, 
you'll need as you get this charred on no is it the oh, chain mail chain mail you paint the gun and the emblem and those helmets and these guns here can you see that there you zoom in for you there then you'll need one else another color yeah and then uh, I forgot to mention the star you'll need this one Modrain blue, which I use for my space marines under the right color, but I don't really care. Um, then we have the space marine helmet, and space marine jetpack, space marine helmet, and all space marine art and shoulder pad. And that's pretty much that. Um, don't forget to use the little piece of the bacon mm, bit as well. Um, what else? Oh yes, and you need this one for the um, Imperial Guards helmet. The bits there and the guns so it's pretty straightforward if you go on YouTube there's another one but all it was just like this thing you know it's still spinning around it's been very cool I you spin around as well for you and there the gun there and zoom in remember to do everything in it pretty much I gotta show you for the day guys in my Warhammer videos um it's pretty everything. Thanks for watching.